that's what you're gonna do one day, dude. Every birthday, you have to fucking watch that video. Every birthday. Oh, yeah. oh the buggy. I've seen that one. I'm yeah. Cool coming. That's you. No, it's that's not. you in a couple years. That's, this guy doesn't understand how to properly do a buggy choke. There's, there's a right way and a wrong way. He was pulling his leg towards himself. It's not good. It's dangerous. started doing the buggy choke all the way back when I was in Jersey. Uh, I started playing around with it, but I was never like crazy flexible enough to do it. Once Renee Souza hit it on me, I became obsessed with it. And I uh, got pretty flexible, and I learned how to like properly do it. Also, like with the help of Craig, like hitting it on me and stuff. Fuck you! I really learned like all all about uh, the buggy choke. Buggy chokes are retarded. They're kind of stupid. They barely work, and that's exactly why I like them. Because that's gonna stick with someone for a long time. You know, you rear naked guy, yarn by guy, triangle guy. He can push that out of his mind, but you buggy chuck a man, he remembers that for a very long time. You know, it, it does work at a high level to an extent. Um, <laughs> you know, I've hit it on Nicky Ryan. I've hit it on uh, I've hit it on Ethan. It, it's pretty easy to hit it on Nicky Ryan. If you look at him, the size of his head is really big, so once you lock it up, it's really hard for him to <laughs> What's going on over here, huh? <laughs> Overall, I fucking hate buggy chokes. It's literally the only way J-Rod has ever submitted me before. I don't do them. I'm personally, I don't have you know long enough limbs. I'm not flexible enough to lock them up. So I don't do them, but I hate them. Because again, it's the only move J-Rod can hit on me. Yeah, it does work at a high level to an extent. Uh, all they really have to do to evade the buggy choke is keep their head on the center line or yeah. posture up. But just that alone also leads to other things like you can, it gives you um, space, you know. I don't have a good guard, so it gives me space to be able to come up and do whatever I, I need. But it works, so that's all that matters. Oh, fuck. First off, I despise it. it. Should be illegalized and outlawed. Very popular the past couple years. I'm a bit too stiff, too muscular to get up in it. I mean, I can literally only buggy choke women. That's a fact, actually. I think I've only only buggy, buggy choke women when we rolled. Hyper effective for a lankier, flexible guy. Cade seemed to like popularize it a bit more than Jay came out and hit, you know, the craziest one of all in my opinion. Especially like, you know, J-Rod finishes, wins uh, ADCC trials <laughs> with a buggy show in the final. It's absolutely phenomenal. The Vertola brothers as a whole, nice and lanky, same concept. When you toss that buggy, they just kind of lock it on, use that rotation, that lap pull to finish it. I do not use it. I, I, I'm not good at it and I don't really practice it. Um, I practice defending it and avoiding it and countering it. I think the biggest issue with I have the, with a buggy choke is that you have to be on bottom. And I'm like, why the fuck would anybody be on bottom? It doesn't make any sense. I don't do much of it offensively, and uh, maybe I should. Maybe, you know, Jay will start teaching it here at B-Team, or uh, I'll buy one of his DVDs and, uh, yeah, I'll start to learn it. I'm a fan of it. I personally don't use it as much as much because I'm a top kind of guy, so I'd rather stay on top than get the buggy, I mean, this is kind of a variation in, uh, in styles. But who knows, maybe one day I'll develop a extremely uh, intuitive guard and maybe a buggy choke will come in handy.
Nikki Ryan. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe.